Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. It is a Monday, and guess what? I'm freezing. <laughs> Let me tell you. I, I was looking so forward to coming back to work. I was just, it was about to kill me Sunday. I wanted to come to work Sunday. Really? Yeah, I so, just love my job. That, I love that. The, I hope the, the, boss, I hope the boss is watching. Is watching. <laughs> yeah, the boss is watching. Oh boy, as usual, we have an entertaining show for you. Lots of great stuff coming up, but first we're going to check out our weather. Happy Monday. We start off our new work week pretty chilly right now. Still sitting in the 30s out at our studios in Conway. Little River at 39 as well as Georgetown 40s. Basically from Carolina Forest out to the coastline. Here's a look at those temperatures everywhere else across PD. Temps currently in the 40s there. 30s still along portions of the border belt. Daytime highs will top out around 47 to 48. Uh, and you can thank this departing storm system for the lack of daytime heating. It dumped quite a lot of snow from St. Louis, 12 to even 15 inches in some isolated spots. Nearly a foot of snow in Washington, D.C., 9.8 inches actually officially recorded, making it the snowiest day in Washington, D.C. in over three years. We do have this narrow band, though, of light moisture that's in the mid-levels that's helping keep the clouds around and ultimately a north wind 5 to 10. Combination of both is what's keeping our daytime highs in the 40s. Here's the Thing, though the jet stream will begin to dip which opens up a little more cooler air but it's going to be off our shores by tomorrow the winds will shift out of the north and west that means downslope flow from the Appalachian Mountains and ultimately subsidence or sinking air sinking air helps to clear out the skies just like in the eye of a hurricane you get that sinking air same thing happening here uh, we're going to see the clearing skies on our Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all from that sinking air and subsidence. And then those sunny skies begin to leave our region as we get a new storm system arriving this weekend. Temperatures are going to be in the 50s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday every single day with these sunny skies warming up just a hair more. We'll be in the 60s by Friday at the Grand Strand. Could be in the 60s on Thursday inland, the mid-60s expected there by our Friday with above average temperatures continuing. Then we talk about our storm system. Saturday, Sunday, 30% chance right now. A lot of timing issues with that one. It does look like a pretty potent system, and on the back side of it, the polar vortex may be, uh, come a concern again. You may remember that from several years ago. It looks like a major Arctic outbreak coming down from the Arctic uh, regions, North Pole, allowing for some extremely cold temperatures into the region. As a result, these temperatures will take a dip heading into next week. Get ready for a major drop in temperatures. Handoff is Apple's clever productivity feature. See how it works after our advertiser. You can work faster and smarter with Apple's clever handoff feature. It allows you to start a task on one Apple device and seamlessly finish it on the other. For example, Within the preview application on your Mac, choose Take Photo. Then use your iPhone to take a picture. The image instantly shows up on your Mac. No transferring or sharing is required. Or copy any text, image, or video on your iPhone. On your Mac, choose Paste to immediately insert it into your document. You are handing the content from one device to the other. The handoff feature is easy to use and saves you time. I'm Francie Black. For more great tips, visit TechTangoToday.com. All right, we got a great show lined up today, a lot of fun stuff. But before we get started, we got to check on those birthdays. That's right. But first, it is Monday, January the 14th, and this is National Dress Up Your Pet Day. And it's also Clean Off Your Desk Day. Oh, is that, that for me? 
you might have to log overtime it's, it's hours. It's got to be that. for me. Yeah, All right, let's take sure. birthdays today. There she is, 1941. Faye Dunaway, 78 years old, an Academy Award for Network. You remember that one? And she was also in Bonnie and Clyde and Chinatown. All right, 1943, Holland Taylor, 76 years old, TV's private practice, Two and a Half Men, movies Legally Blonde, and Spy Kids 2. 1968, I love watching this guy act. LL Cool J, 51 huh. years old, he's a rap star, of course, and an actor. Uh, his debut album, Radio, went platinum in 1985. Now on NCIS Los Angeles, also appeared on SWAT. All right, 1952, NBC's long-running program Today debuted with host Dave Garraway. It was 1973, Elvis Presley's concert, Aloha from Hawaii, is broadcast live via satellite and sets the record as the most watched broadcast by an individual entertainer in television history. Wow. That's pretty big. That's almost a know-it-all And department. a little quick that. thing about it, when he Tell threw me. his cape out, yeah. like 10, 20 years later, the guy that caught it, brought it back and gave it to Graceland to put into. That's pretty in cool. That's pretty cool. Huh. All right, let's listen to this. Here's from the Know It All Department where you learn something every day. Here's something I think is very interesting. Did you know if 33 million people held hands, you know, holding hands, they could make it all the way around the equator? Wow. You know, I don't know if we'll ever do it, but I just thought I'd pass that home. <laughs> That's from the Know It All Department today. we got a great show lined up, some fun stuff, and uh, you're going to really like today's show. That's right. We'll be right back. The following is paid for by Coastline Pet Supply. All right, Tommy's with us from Coastline Pet Supply, the man that can take care of anything you need. Food, how to raise your pets, anything. This guy knows all about it, and he's got a little friend with he him He brought today. us a friend, Tommy. Really sweet. Little bunny. Uh, okay, I know nothing about rabbits, I'll admit it. Talk to me about this rabbit. T this tell is, us what's going on here. This is uh, known as an English spot. And you can see the spots on his side. Got a little muzzle. He's cute. On his uh, nose. That's right. And actually has a skunk stripe down his back. Oh, <laughs> Is that typical of all English spot, or that's yes. just him? No, okay. That's the English spot. Okay. They were developed in England in the uh, 1800s. Um, they're an average size bunny to a look to a little on the large size. They're be five to eight pounds when they're grown. Right. This one's 13 weeks old. Hmm. So you can tell, you know, they're going to get some size to them. They're yeah, absolutely. Be like a dwarf. Okay. Yeah, how um, many you got right now in stock? Uh, these are the, f I've never had these before. Yeah. Uh, and I got six in on Friday. Mm -hmm. So these will be the six I have and probably never have any more. Okay. So <laughs> if you want this actual one that he's brought on the show right there on his backside, did you see he has a heart spot? Yeah. Well, we like actually, they looks all like have heart. tattoos in their ears too. Oh, you do they? Yeah. All um, right. And uh, new, um, got some seahorses in for the first time. Yeah, we got some. Picture, we got a picture of a seahorse. Yeah, oh, we got a dozen flown Look at in there. Um, Saturday. Okay. And, now, um, special requirements for a salt tank and a seahorse? Yes. Do you have to do yes, that? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, you, you know, you don't just buy one. It's, okay. it's something you got to think about and get ready for. But they're That's incredible cool. to watch. I love to sit back there and watch them. Yeah. Around, How but. neat is that? Okay. So, so if somebody has a tank, you can help them get ready for it. Yes, we actually okay. had somebody pick one up this morning. She's been getting ready for a couple of weeks, and uh, Great. I think her mother bought her one for her birthday present, so she came in and bought it, picked it up this morning. Very I got cool. one for my son when he was young, and it's just amazing you sit there and watch the fish. But you do have to learn the right type fish to put in there, because I put a different one in there, and he ate all the guppies. 
Yeah, yeah. You, you got to learn all that. That's why you got to ask Tommy. That. We can that, help you with that. That's <laughs> why people need to come see you. Anything else happening right now at Coastline? No, just trying to recover from the holidays. Get ready. Yeah, yeah. Get ready for the spring and flea season. And fl oh boy, it'll be in flea season. Oh, I know it. It's Any not. other pets you got in right now that you want to tell about? Um, no, I, I've been have, having a hard time getting some ferrets, but hopefully I'll get two or three ferrets in Is, on Thursday. How quick do these animals turn? Because I think, gosh, somebody's going to go out and, you know, randomly buy, buy a bunny. Buy the, you turn animals quickly. Yeah, and I mean, it's, you know, I had one of my customers come in Sunday. I want a ferret. I got okay. one. I got to have another one. We, yeah. Yeah, I'll try trying to get her. Okay, so if you want an animal, you can come in, you know, request yeah, that you would yeah. get something and you're really able, yeah. to, able to get that for them. Awesome. Tommy, right. we appreciate you, buddy. All we right. really do. Have a great week. Sweet We're fun. talking about the man that can do it all for you at Coastline Pet Supply. Food, anything you want to know about your animal, this okay. man can help you. He sure can. Thanks for being with us, Tommy. Thanks, Tommy. We appreciate you. it. All right. All right, we got more coming up. Stay with us. We'll be back. Not when they come in on a tight shot on you, you won't, but. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Start out, yeah. Good thing. All right, caring in our lifetime, helping people in Ori and Georgetown County who are suffering from breast cancer. But that's not only women, it's men. That's, that's right, well. men too. Susan's with us. And Susan, all right, we missed you last month. What's going on now? Uh, What's well, coming up? We don't really have anything going on yet. Uh, being the first of the year, we're just getting reorganized. Sure. Uh, but that doesn't stop breast cancer from affecting anyone or men and women. Um, we do help men and women in Orion, Georgetown County, so all our money stays local. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that participated in October uh, with fundraising for us. Uh, it, it was just very successful this year, as always. And we're always in need of volunteers, or um, you know, people that want to help during our our uh, events. Sure. So, 
I'll get a list out. Our website's um, caringinourlifetime.com. If you need an application or would like to volunteer or reach out to us in some way. All right. All right, now tell them how you help people that, uh, you know, with breast cancer. Well, um, they, they have to apply with us. There's an application on the website. Uh, we do need your two years worth of taxes. And once you're approved, then we or I particularly go in and negotiate your medical bills. Uh, so just to kind of take that stress off of you know, yeah. so you can heal and, and get well. And that's basically kind of how we work. Talk, talk about the organization, and I don't think I've ever even asked you this, your, you know, your ability, your track record kind of with um, their medical bills and, and helping them. Is there a percentage that you're able to reduce them? Is there, is there a way to negotiate it? Well, uh, t tell me about that. Yes, yes and no. Um, uh, <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes, exactly, okay. exactly. And we allow $15,000 per recipient. And I don't think but maybe one time, we have been in existence since 1997. So wow. uh, this has been working for a long time. And I don't think there's anyone that's ever really maybe a few times that have gone over that 15,000 okay. mostly the hospitals, uh, the local doctors, the local hospitals, they, they really work with us. Fantastic. Um, and you've built those relationships over yes, the years. Yes, yes. Right, mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. the reason you're so involved in this, tell us why. Well, I am a breast cancer survivor of since 2007, and that's kind of, it was one of those aha moments. I had met uh, a young lady the year before that was the recipient and how Caring in Our Lifetime got started. Got it. So uh, I met her even before I had breast cancer. And then, that? of course, we crossed paths again, and um, she got me on the board, and I, I've really enjoyed it. It's, we're an all-volunteer group. We're getting ready to go on a, a cruise to Cuba, um, a bunch of us together. Fun. For one of them's yeah. 50th soon. So It's a family. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. A, it's a great, great time. Thank you for everything Thanks, you're Susan. doing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. All right, stick around. We've got more coming up. All right, we're going to talk to an author now. The man has written over 20 books. His latest book, The Word, The History of the Bible and How It Came to Us. Rod Gregg's with us. Awesome. I've been waiting for this interview because what, what an interesting topic, but a huge topic. Right. The, I, mean, I mean, the Bible, and here's the deal. With the book, you got to get it right. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> you, right. you got to get it right. So to <laughs> talk about this. What led you to do something like this? Well, as a historian, I'm always interested in the backstory and the origin of things, and and as a Christian, I've had a, almost a lifelong um, respect for and love for the Bible, so I was really happy to have the opportunity to do it. I actually wrote it about, uh, most of it about 10 years ago, and did the research, and then it was kind of postponed, and a publisher came forward uh, last year and, and uh, wanted to do the project, and I was enthusiastic and happy. But you're right, it's a, it's a huge project and a great survey through time. All right. Now, is what it, all does it cover, yeah, you know, in the, in the book? What does it cover, right? Well, it's a, a survey that really begins with um, a survey from antiquity, the, the era of parchment, 
and uh, papyrus all the way through the development of the English language Bible and, and the impact on the Bible in the Western world and America today. Wow. That's, I, it, it looks really interesting. Hey, it's very, <laughs> it and I read a few pages of it this morning. I neglected to read any of this since you gave me the book, Rod, and I apologize. For well, that. we will, we will but, definitely be reading it. Did you, in your research, any surprises? Well, yeah, a lot of those. I, I think I was really, um, I was impressed, um, inspired, and sobered by the number of people who would live their lives to try to preserve and transmit the Bible faithfully, sure. and also so many people who, who gave their lives. But I think the overwhelming thing to me is that if you think about it, uh, so you have here um, uh, 66 inspired books that were uh, written by more than 40 diverse authors from kings, poets, prophets, fishermen in three languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek mm -hmm. over the course of 1,500, 1,600 years. And yet it, uh, it accumulates um, in, the, in a single theme that can be expressed in one Bible verse, John 3.16, which of course says that God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son and whoever believes in him will not die but will live forever. So it's really God's love letter to yeah, us. Absolutely. Okay, a as a Christian, I have to ask, what is writing this, doing the research, how has it impacted your relationship with God? It has impacted it. It has, uh, I think, caused me to um, just realize how God has, through the ages, um, used us you know, uh, Scripture says that uh, God's power is perfected in weakness, our weakness. And so in those moments when you think as a Christian, you know, what can I do? And what have I done? Uh, God does great and amazing things, and he often begins with one person, yeah. just one person. Cool. And I see that in Scripture and also in the way Scripture has been preserved because, you know, the Bible's had a lot of would-be undertakers, <laughs> and it has survived through the ages to... Uh, change lives and nations. All right, cool. where can they find a book? Tell us real quickly, Ron. It's uh, hopefully in your local bookstore, but online, um, Amazon, uh, Target has it online yeah. as well. All right. I do. Well, I appreciate you, but it's always a pleasure to see Rod Very and I cool. work together for a long time. Yeah. You did. Back in the early days in television. <laughs> <laughs> when they had black, no, black and white. Film. Oh, no, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Thanks, Rod. Thanks, Rod. Thank appreciate, appreciate it. it. More coming up. We're going to talk about counterfeit money. Do you have some? Get your wallet out. You could be going to jail. Uh -oh. We'll be back.
All right, go grab your wallet, go grab your purse, open it up, and look at the bills inside. Every so often we see a rise in counterfeit money here in the area. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to distinguish between the two and what it means for you if That's you find right. a counterfeit bill. Yep. We have a detective with, with us today, and Richard is going to tell us a little bit about, you know, money's always showing up counterfeit money, right? You yes. find it all the time? Yes, sir. It's pretty consistent. Every now and then you have a spike of someone bringing it in or producing it, but it's, it's pretty consistent. So if you got a high dollar printer, you can kind of print something close to it. Well, I'm going to be careful what I tell you because oh, okay. the Secret right, Service tell us might, how to do might it. give me a phone call. <laughs> but yes, you're on the right track. That's usually how it is. It's not a thing that's very common. Someone has to know what they're doing. Okay, right, they have to know got, what they're doing yeah. because it, it's a pretty detailed, you know, operation yeah, for for someone to attempt. Okay, we have some pictures. Yeah, we're going to show, um, some, we're gonna show some pictures and let Richard tell us a little up, bit yeah. about it. All right, now what are we looking at here? Right here is uh, from the website, whether it's uh, Secret Service or the Federal Treasury website. Mm -hmm. This is a great guide to use if you're really going to get into the, into the money and figure out some of the, the key trademarks as to identifying uh, counterfeit money. Right, now are those counterfeit bills right there? Um, the top one, Bob. Can't tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> can't and see real good. I can't either. Yeah, they're they're instructional. It's an instructional thing. Yeah. And most of the the problem, most of the thing that the Secret Service doesn't want is a good picture for it to be reproduced. So that's why you have the lines going through all that. Um, right. but, but that's a great website if you want to learn about that. All right. Okay. Now, does that little black marker they yeah, the put marker. on bills? Does I, that I work? see that in restaurants all the time. Yeah, that, that they're yes. doing that. My recommendation, and yeah. not to affect the company that creates those right. pens. Right. I understand. It is a reaction to the chemicals that are in the paper, but if the counterfeiter, counterfeiter does something to the paper, the it pens won't. do not work. Okay. So please find another way to, to, to do, do that. All right, we got another bill we're going to show now. This is what you call movie, oh, wait a minute, is it called movie? Motion picture use only. I don't understand that, motion um, picture movie It is only. made for the movies, and a few years ago, I can't remember the movie that was either partly made in the city, Right. Um, but this popped up everywhere in fact at some point someone either went to the trash it was actually floating down king's highway what? really yeah. so that's one of the motion pictures wow. right all right you know, you and it clearly right. says that right on the top yeah. and okay. on the back okay so my question if you have a counterfeit bill turn it into the bank you're not going to get a replacement for no, it not. but what, what do we need to do <laughs> um well Nothing if you, you if do. you seek to further where this came from we will try to investigate as best we can sure. usually we'll go back to the place where you got the money from yeah. and then kind of go from there and then we'll find out other detectives or other agencies are they getting the same bill is it the same person right. if it's starting to happen um, Ab reoccurring absolutely and then a lot of this goes straight to the secret service and they help us out with certain resources that they have richard right. thank you absolutely I'm not print thank any you, more sir. money yes sir. I promise Please you, okay don't. let me thank see your you wallet much. Yeah, give me your wallet, wallet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back stick around what do you look for when you want something entertaining, informative, and lots of fun? Carolina and Company Live with Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. This show keeps you informed of everything happening along the Grand Strand. Petey and Porterville. Tired of watching the same old, same old every day? Why not tune in to Carolina and Company Live? A show that's just plain fun. Hollywood! <laughs> Weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. I was looking at my wallet. Mine are real. Good. Yeah, I just Good. wanted to tell you that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. People are like, I'm going to go get my money back. They go to the bank. <laughs> no, you don't. They <laughs> take your gonna, money that's if you've right. got a counterfeit. Right. It's not going to work like that. Thank you all so what much for being show. here today. we got a great show tomorrow. Good that's show right. tomorrow. Give me five on that. That's right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, see you everybody. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. All right, it is a Tuesday coming up on Carolina and Company Live. The Grand Strand Humane Society is here with our pet of the week. That's right, we got another contest coming up. Beard.
contest coming up. We're going to tell you all about that and how you can get into it. All right. I don't think I'll do it. Uh, I don't <laughs> think so either. The Women's Club of Myrtle Beach, they've been around for over 50 years. They're having a fundraiser coming up to reinstate them for the year. That's right. And we're also going to be talking about a charity golf tournament, telling you how you can get involved and help this charity coming up. We'll see you in a minute. And hello, everybody. It's a Wednesday coming up on Carolina and Company Live. Judy's going to be here from Core Fitness, and we're going to do some working out. You got your workout outfit? I've got it with me. All right, let's go. Also, Kind Keeper Animal Rescue is here. They're a no-kill shelter up in Little River. They're going to have a furry little friend for us. And we're talking about something that's coming to the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, and it's free. We're going to tell you all Lots about that, Lots of free too. events. That's right. And the 7th Annual Farm and Agribiz Expo is coming up. All that and more. And coming up in just a few minutes, it's a Thursday on Carolina and Company Live, the 21st annual Super Bowl benefit for Habitat. We'll tell you all about it. Lots of awesome soup. Oh, I, I can't goodness. wait for that event. Talking about the Long Bay Symphony, if you like music and you like French flair, 